Okay, guys, as you can tell, I have my block of wood, which was two and three quarters of an inch by three and a half inches by, oh, six and a half or seven inches long. Uh, this particular uh, piece of wood I left as a rectangle, so I'm roughing it out on the lathe. Given that this is the Get Kids Woodworking episode, I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. Um, I could have made the roughing out process a little quicker by cutting the corners of the block off at 45 degrees um, on the table saw, but I just didn't want to do that. I thought, you know what, we'll just rough it out on the lathe. Now, that being said, I do not have a roughing gouge. The tool I'm using there is a three-quarter inch standard gouge. A roughing gouge is a more robust gouge. Uh, it's got a thicker steel, it's a heavier gouge, and in general it's meant for doing this task. Uh, you know, I wish I had one, but this particular set of chisels I have came with my lathe. I bought the lathe used, and we'll go into a little more of that after a bit. Um, I don't recommend that you go out and purchase a lathe uh, right off the bat with all the tools. Um, if you want to try a project on a lathe, I would recommend you go to your local woodworking club, woodworkers guild. Uh, I can almost promise you that somebody in the club has a lathe and enjoys turning. Uh, you, there's so many projects you can turn on a lathe that it really um, is a cool facet of woodworking. The beauty of the woodworking uh, hobby or business is that there are so many different forms of woodworking, and wood turning is a great, great way to uh, enjoy woodworking. Uh, that being said, if you go to your local club and you find somebody who would uh, let you use their lathe, um, you can turn two or three projects in the matter of an hour. Uh, this project ended up taking me 16 minutes in real time from the block to the finished project. Uh, that being, you can you can turn more projects out quicker than you can build a coffee table, for instance. Um, if you go and you try out a lathe and you decide you want to purchase a lathe, I would think uh, pretty hard about your shop space and what it is you're wanting to produce on the lathe. My lathe I bought as a utilitarian tool. Um, if somebody comes to me and says, hey, I want a dining room table, but I want turned legs on it, my lathe can do that. Uh, if all you want to do is turn pins and uh, wine bottle stoppers and salt and pepper mills, that kind of stuff, uh, you may want to consider buying a smaller mini or midi lathe. Uh, I know a lot of guys that have them and thoroughly enjoy them. Uh, it's the same process, just on a smaller scale. Um, my particular lathe I bought off of Craigslist. I gave, I think, $200 or $250 for the lathe, a three-jaw chuck that comes uh, in handy when you're trying to turn a bowl, and uh, all the chisels. Now, that being said, it is an older lathe. I think it's probably 20 or 25 years old, but it is in fine working condition. The chisels were still in the box, brand new. Um, somebody had bought the lathe and quickly got uh, intimidated by it and never used it. So I kind of feel like I got a great deal on it. I would definitely uh, suggest looking at your um, local classifieds for a used lathe and, it, and you can probably get a pretty good deal on it. Um, my particular set of chisels is a set of marples chisels. Um, they are standard chisels, so I have to sharpen them. I have heard great things about uh, the newer carbide tipped chisels that are out there. I know a few guys that have them and really enjoy using them. 
In this project, I ended up using three tools. I ended up using a three-quarter inch gouge, a half inch gouge, and a quarter inch gouge. Um, it works worked out fine. Um, so it's not like you need all the tools that I have there to turn out a simple project like this. Um, anyways, those are my thoughts. Um, so follow along and uh, we'll get to doing the final shaping on this project. As you'll notice, there are a couple places where I had a couple little minor catches, and that was because there was a crack in the wood and I thought I could easily get around it. Um, nothing major, but uh, it, it did kind of catch me off guard, but uh, nothing bad happened. So that's just uh, things to look out for, and that's where a little bit of experience helps. So anyways, that's all I've got to say. Uh, enjoy the rest of the video.